Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Process Automation Scenario Based Training with AnubhavTrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning how to achieve a end-to-end -end integration of a CAP service with SAP Build Process Automation. How to read and update the data using a SAP Build Process Automation with the help of data actions in SAP Build. So meet my business user, Jennifer. She has a requirement to design a scenario to read sales order data along with item details from a cap based service in the cloud. Then show this data to the business user for the approval along with order header and items. And once user approves the, the order, change the status of the order from cart to released. So we are going to help Jennifer to achieve this requirement. So let's get started. We are going to develop this requirement into three parts. In the phase number one, we are going to create data action, which will read the order data from CAP service and put the order data status, the put request to change the status. Then we will publish the action project. Step number two, we will create the business process, the process automation to design a approval form, reading the data of the order from action and on approval, calling our put action to update the data. In the third part of this video series, we will then deploy and test our process end to end. So let's get started. So I'm going to head over back to the system now where I have already configured SAP build process automation and also a destination. So this is actually my service, which is a cap service reading all the order data. Now, if I randomly pick up any order and I can just pass here the order key and then I will say order items, I will get the order item data. I can also do dollar expand to actually get the header and item data together. So now you can see I've got my header data and I've got my item data to create a build process. So now, first of all, the step number one is to proceed further and go to control tower in SAP build process automation and go to destination and import a destination from my BTP cockpit with a, which is created already with the name Anubhav Shopping. I import this destination which is actually going to communicate to this particular order management service. This is the first part. Now we go ahead and create an action project. So let's create an action project using Odata destinations. I will select Anubhav Shopping destination. And then I will click on next button. Let's call it as task one. Uh, get and update order data. Ex exactly. Click on create button. So you can see it opens up the action builder and it shows me all the entities which are available. So we expand the order entity and then we say, I would like to get the order data. So let's go ahead and get entity for order by key. And then we are also going to do the put request, which is to patch the order data. You can see update. We will add these two entities actions. And now we can go ahead for testing. So first of all, I will test my get order data action by passing an order ID. So for reference, I will take this order ID from here and paste it. Click on test button. Then you can see it's returning the order data. But oops, where is my item data? I also need that for approval. So we go to input and add a expand option and then drill down to change the expand option with the expand order item data. Perfect. So we add this and we save and then we go for testing again. So this time when I test what I will see as my test result. Let's see. Wahala, I've got my item data in an array. Superb, fabulous. So this becomes my master data or my initial data to create an approval form and show it to the user. Now I will go ahead for update call and we will just try to find an update. So let me just go back to the order and you can see the maybe current order status is released 
and I will change it to cancel. So I will go back to test and pass here the order ID once again and the status is to cancel or let's say on hold. Yeah, test this. Response is 200, okay. I can go back and check the status and you can see the status is on hold. Fabulous. So this service is actually built by a cap developer and deployed on SAP BTP account in Europe data center. So we are just triggering that to, uh, you know, test it. Perfect. We can release the action. Let's call it as task one. And this is to read and update my order in cap service. Perfect. Click on release. And we can just also publish the action project. Perfect. So it's published now and we are now fully ready. You can additionally export this project. Go back and you have an option to export the project which is already published and share it with your colleagues or you can import it manually in the production system. Yes. So that is the step number one, the task number one which is done. I hope you enjoyed this video of reading and updating the data of a cap service for more videos like this kindly subscribe the channel and feel free to hit the like button and i will see you in my next episode where we will learn about the second task where we will create a sap build process on top of these actions with that thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next session